Hello everyone, in this video we would be looking at financial functions that are in Excel. Now generally these financial functions uh, are used to calculate EMI's principal value or the interest of a loan. So if I want to calculate an EMI that could be done with a function known as PMT. Same way principal value could be calculated with a function known as PPMT and interest value could be calculated with the function known as IPMT. Let's move to an example to understand how we can use these functions. So I have an example over here which says I need to buy a bike. I'm planning to buy a bike uh, and the cost of that bike is 79,000. So I'm planning it to purchase it on EMI. So now uh, I need to calculate what would be my EMI per month. So I need to, if I am taking this on EMI, I need to repay this loan in one year at a rate of 13.5% per annum. It's the rate of per annum. Okay, so EMI, what would be my monthly EMI? As I said, EMI could be calculated with a function known as PMT. So let's see how we can do this. So first syntax which we need is rate. So rate we can see over here. So I'll just select the cell and as I said EMIs are monthly. They are paid monthly and the rate which is given is per year, per annum. So I need to convert this rate into monthly base on a monthly basis. So what I can do is I could just divide it by 12 as I would be paying the EMI on monthly basis. I could just divide it by 12. Same way, comma, n per. n per means number of years. In how many years you would be repaying it the loan. So you can see one over here. So one year. EMI again I am repeating it's on monthly basis. So one year into 12 because there are 12 months in a year. So I am converting one year into month EMI or EMI. Same way, comma, present value. What is the value? Present value. So 79,000. This is it and I'll just hit enter. Now this gives you a red point. What it does it indicates is red means something that you need to pay. It's your liability you need to pay. So if you don't want this red, what you can do is you can just put a minus sign before your present value and then it would not give you that red point. So that's how you can calculate EMI through a function known as PMT. Let's have a look how we can calculate principal value and interest okay so for as i said principal value we the function is ppmt same goes the rule goes the same uh, rate so rate will select the rate okay this is my rate i'll divide it by 12 i've explained you why because this is a per annum rate and i need to convert it in on a monthly basis so that is the reason i'm dividing the rate this rule goes same for the financial functions the rate has been divided by 12 and the n per has been multiplied by 12 it's the logic remains the same comma the per okay here we have an extra argument known as per now what per indicates is per indicates which installment it is it's first installment it's second third fourth fifth so i have prepared a chart over here so depending on the number of repayments so i need to repay this in one year so if i am repaying it in one year of course there would be 12 installments for 12 ins installment depending on the 12 months in a year we have 12 months that is the reason there are only 12 installments over here so per means the number of installment you need to find the principal value for first installment or second or last depending on that so i have created a chart where, so i'll just select this comma you could just put the numerical value also like one two three but it gets difficult for if it's a big chart so it's better you create a chart in which you put all the numbers like the number of installments and you just select give the reference of the cell comma n per n per would be same as i said it would be multiplied by 12 comma pv so i'll just put minus and the present value is this i'll just close the bracket and hit enter. So EMI is 7000 7, rupees and 7074 7, but principal value is this. So if you can you can get an idea that principal value plus interest comes to your EMI. So now we'll calculate interest and we'll see our answer matches or not. 
okay so let's calculate interest now so interest would be as i said it would it can be calculated with ipmt then it now the syntax are the same you could see rate per n per and pv so the logic remains the same i'll just select the rate divide by 12 n per would be this comma n per would be uh the cell into 12 comma minus this loan value okay is it clear so it's pretty simple rate per n per and your pv value is it the enter so this is your interest value interest amount on the first installment let's see it gives us correct answer or not so this plus this set. you could see it's exactly the same I have calculated this with the formula, and this is just by the reference. So I have calculated principal value and interest, and I have added over here. And that's how you can calculate principal value, interest value, and EMI through EMT. So this this gets very easy to know what would be your principal value, what would be your interest, and what would be your EMI. Now I could just I just need to I just need to put. the formula once and i i'll just drag it but before dragging it dragging that i would i would it i would require to fix myself so because if i drag this now this would not give me the answer because the references are been shifted so that's the reason i'll have to fix myself so this would be fixed then this would be fixed all the cells would be fixed except the cell of per because this needs to be go this needs to change according to the cell number so i'll just drag and see yes this is giving me the right answer same goes for this so this would go as fix by f4 fix and same i'll fix for this i don't need to fix this because uh this would eventually when i drag it should change the reference so i'll just select all three cell and i would drag it to it well then i would get the right answer you would see the emi remains the same but the interest value and the principal value keeps on changing it goes on decreasing the interest value goes on decreasing as you pay as you start to pay the emi and this is how you can calculate emi principal value interest and this covers the video of financial functions i hope this video will help you to understand and make easy for you to explain financial functions in excel so thank you for just for now so uh, i hope this video will help you and thank you guys